Hey ladies, so uh, today I am doing uh, my basics video and the first one that I'm going to be filming today is um, product ratio. I know some of you ladies have questions about it and um, you may struggle with it a little bit. So I will be doing a product ratio video today and kind of just um, laying the acrylic down and picking up product and tips and tricks I've found in myself. So today I'm going to be using just a tip. I'm just using white because um, I've got an abundance of white tips around. So, uh, And then I'm just going to be using some different colors of neon acrylics from Diva DC. Um, now the brands is really up to you what, what type of acrylic system you'd like to use. I prefer DVDC because they're inexpensive and I really like their quality um, and I purchase from them fairly often so uh, the first thing I'm going to I guess show you guys is my brush. Um, this is either a 16 or an 18 and this is a round pointed brush. Some of you ladies like the flat. Um, I don't have any that are flat that are kind of fanned out a little bit, maybe even cut. Um, I would like to try them, but I this is they don't make this one anymore, sadly. Um, I actually bring this up myself, but they actually, I can't find this brand again, and I love this brush. It's amazing. Um, but this is just the one that I prefer. Um, this is the type of brush I prefer, um, and really it depends on what you guys would like, uh, what you guys are used to. I've always, for the most part, gone with oval, uh, just because it's easier for me, but that's really up to you. So I prefer larger brushes. If you're just learning, I would suggest using a 10, which is quite smaller. Uh, this is kind of an older one, but uh, I use this one somewhat. This is a 10, and this is also, this is a round, you can see the barrel of the brush here is round. Uh, this one is also round as well, but they're both ovals. But anyway, um, so if you are starting out, I would suggest maybe using a 10 or um, smaller, maybe even an 8 or so, just to get started, to get comfortable with picking up the um, the liquid and the powder, but it's really up to you. So this is just what works for me personally. So I've had my Dappen dish here. I prefer one that has a lid. Um, it keeps the odor down and I find it doesn't evaporate as quickly as if you just have one without one. So it's my Dappen dish. I already have my liquid and I do use Diva DC's uh, professional liquid. This is pretty inexpensive. You could find it on their website, uh, divadc.com. So I'm going to be using, to begin with, um, the Neon Pink from DVDC. Okay, so actually I'm going to switch these around. Alright, so when I'm picking up, or when I'm starting anyway, what I do is I put my brush all the way into the liquid. It's kind of hard to see, but there are bubbles that have come out of my brush. And you do not want bubbles in your brush. That will mean there's bubbles in your acrylic and it just will not look very good. So saturate it completely. Um, definitely press it in to the bottom of the dappen dish. Make sure there are no bubbles. And this is the, you're gonna wipe it away from you. It's really awkward to, to do it this way towards you. I'm over here. <laughs> but um, I do it kind of northeast area away from me. So the size of your ball is really going to depend on how much liquid you keep in the belly of your brush, which is this area right here, the biggest part. Um, when you wipe the brush away from you on the side of your dappen dish, you'll notice that some liquid comes off the brush. It's kind of hard to see with the video, have it, have it set up right now, but um, there you go. You can see it will come off of your brush. Now this is because you're pushing it towards the bottom um, and it, all the liquid is pretty much going to reside in the tip or be closer. So I have found that the easiest way to eyeball it and to get used to it is by wiping away to a certain point on your brush. 
So for a larger ball, I would wipe just a little bit from, from the barrel of the brush, wipe it just a tiny bit, very tiny. And from here, you pick up your acrylic, you're gonna drag it across the top, don't you know, submerge it completely. And you'll see once it starts to set, it'll kind of look like a slimy, almost like cellulite type consistency. And from here, you're able to just put it on your surface and start to work with it. So this is what I would call a larger ball for myself. You're able to manipulate it fairly well. So I'm going to change colors. So for a medium sized ball, uh, what you're going to do, and if you've already used your powder, I would suggest tapping it just to get it level all the way across. And that's just so you can see how far you go into your powder. So this is for a medium ball. And I'm gonna turn my brush sideways a little bit so you guys can take a look. Um, you're really only gonna be putting, dipping your brush in on one side at the very tip. So about that far in, not very far, and it's gonna be on one side, kind of flat. So when you, you dip your brush in as normal, and you wipe it from the end of the barrel about halfway down your brush. That leaves enough liquid in your brush to pick up a medium sized ball. So once you do it, so going away from you, you're going to turn your brush flat on the other side and you're going to drag for one, two, three. Let it set for just a moment and you're going to see it kind of look like the consistency of an orange. So then you're going to place your ball. and you're able to manipulate it. I let it self-level for just a moment. It's very important while you're working to wipe your brush often. This will keep your brush clean and it's gonna make the application much easier. So as soon as you lay it down, you're gonna go ahead and wipe your brush and then wipe it every so often when you're not actually dipping into the liquid or powder. So that's, I, I did make this one a bit flatter. Can't really tell, but uh, that would be a medium sized ball. For a small one, this is where it gets tricky, especially if you have use a larger brush like I do. Um, go ahead and turn this around. So it's gonna, you're gonna follow the same process. You're gonna wipe your brush. Now you wipe your brush almost to the very end. Pretty much to the very, very end. Wipe your brush completely, turn it over. Drag it for one, two, three. You're gonna see a smaller ball. Once it starts to self-level and turn into kind of a bumpy, shiny consistency, go ahead and place it and you're able to manipulate it. So that is the how to pick up the three different sizes. Um, and now I'll be showing you guys um, more of the ball consistency. That was more the size. So let me get a clear tip. And I'm going to show you guys with white. White acrylic. So I'm going to use some white. I, I find this white really easy to work with. Um, personally, this is also from DVDC. Um, the powder, or the powder, the neon acrylics that I just used do tend to be a little bit um, not as dry, I guess. Uh, they tend to be a bit runnier, even if you're, you have the correct amount of liquid in your brush. So they are a little bit difficult to work with, uh, or they can be, especially if you're just learning. Um, but this white that I use, it's just the regular white that they have. Um, it's a lot easier for me to work with. So um, I'm going to show you guys examples of 
what a good medium, medium to large size ball would look like um, compared to one that's too dry and one that is too wet. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. So I'm dipping my brush into my monomer. See, I barely took any liquid out. So I'm gonna drag it in my uh, powder for one, two, three. See, it didn't even pick up because it was too wet. So that is one thing you will find. One important thing is to not touch the sides. If you touch the sides, you will ruin your acrylic. So I barely took any liquid out. One, two, three. You see, there's no, it's, it's already runny. When you apply it, it's just messy and it leaves a residue on your brush. And it's almost impossible to work with, you'll notice it moves and it's too runny when you try to pat it it just comes up and it's it's a mess so that is an example of one that is too wet example of one that is too dry i'm going to go ahead and clean my brush off so i'm taking almost all the liquid out of it drag for one two three You'll see it's not starting to self-level. It is a very jagged shape. Usually it'll turn into a nice round ball. You try to apply it, it just falls off. Very hard to work with. Once you get it on there, it's already starting to set. And it's just not very good to work with. So I'm going to show you a regular type consistency which would be so dip for one, two, three. Let it self-level for just a moment. And you're able to start patting that into place. Now one tip I did find, if you see that your ball is already too runny, um, if it's too dry, you're pretty much out of luck. You're just gonna have to wipe it off and try again. But uh, one trick I did find is if you do have a ball that is too runny, like this one, what you could do is you could take the rest of the liquid out of the back of your brush by pressing it onto a napkin. This will dry it out just a little bit and it will leave your consistency nice and smooth as if you picked up a regular, um, a regular ball. And it makes it very easy to work with and it's easy so you don't waste too much um, monomer or powder and it does help if you do find maybe you're going too fast or um, you know you thought you took more liquid out or maybe you're distracted or what have you it's you can save it same thing goes for 3d acrylic or 3d designs that you're if you want to do 3d um, it's the same type of a, um, a process just pat just press your brush the belly of your brush to the back of um, your napkin with the acrylic on top and it will dry it out slightly so it's easier to work with. Um, I hope that you guys learned something from this video um, and if you'd like to see more please let me know. Um, my next video will be about tips and applying them correctly to the nail bed before application. I'm also going to be doing um, a top to bottom, oops, don't look at that hand, <laughs> a top to bottom type video. I hope you guys will find it uh, informative and hopefully it'll help some of you guys out there. But thank you so much for watching. As always, if you haven't already, please comment, rate, and subscribe if you would. And I'll talk to you ladies next time. Bye.